So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amesy's Corner. How are you all doing out there? So it's uh, it's crazy humid out here. We just got a, uh, I don't know if you could see it, sunny blue skies over there. Nasty. Looks like the sky is gonna fall weather everywhere else. And boy, is it hot and humid today. Just uh, just sweating buckets. But um, anyway, I think uh, I think we're gonna shift gears for a little bit. Um, kind of kind of getting burnt out on fixing cars so I think we're going to uh, give a little love to the electric kayak uh, I got a little upgrade it's gonna make it a really cool thing um, for those of you that haven't seen the electric kayak uh, I actually got the motor off of it right here uh, the kayaks actually at home I didn't bring it in today we'll be bringing that in tomorrow but uh, why don't you guys take a second and just watch a couple of the videos I have of it. it's not much but uh, you can see what the electric kayak's all about. I'm gonna do a quick vid of my electric hacked up kayak. Uh, this is a kayak I picked up about a year ago from a buddy of mine who had cut the whole bow off of it so we could get in and out of it. He had a little incident on a on a moped and he wanted to go kayak and he, he couldn't get in and out of a regular kayak so we, he kind of he kind of beat it up and at first uh, I couldn't believe he cut it. I bought it off him for 50 bucks. Uh, I sealed the front end with some rubber roofing and tape. Nothing special. Usually a bow mounted 42 pound Minn Kota trolling motor. Uh, I've got it mounted backwards. Uh, it doesn't care which way it, it points. Uh, probably the biggest issue with that is uh, the controller. It's got this electric handle it's usually a foot pedal uh, I gotta have it backwards so the throttle that gives it gas or that accelerates and that shuts it off uh, and the controls uh, this way work right as you can see it's electric electric steer which is pretty good uh, I built one of these years ago that that uh, just stayed straight and you steered it with the paddles but that was a lot of work uh, I've got these strings, this one here, uh, on a cleat, undoes the lock when I pull it, and then I can pull this string, and it uh, raises the motor up. Uh, I can't do it single-handedly. Okay, hold on a second, I can raise this, you can see what I did. <sighs> now, you get the idea trying to get put it up in the up position so you can see the motor and all that uh, normally the engines let this motor is like uh, five feet tall it's really long to fit on the bow of like a, a bass boat I shortened it so it's the optimal length for this setup Checking out the batteries, I figured it'd be a good time to show you guys the big battery I use in this thing. So, 106 amp hour, 675 cold cranking amps. Probably the biggest battery I could fit in here and still fit in it myself, so. how it works so it's got the foot pedal here right and uh, it's a little hacked up but 
and they touch a certain area on it, you get, you get your throttle. You get your throttle. And then you steer it left and right on that. Makes the motor spin. Alright guys, what do you think of that kayak? Pretty sweet, huh? So uh, anyways, the last video I made or of that electric kayak is actually the last time I used the electric kayak as an electric kayak. I was having problems with the uh, the controller I was using. Uh, it's a foot pedal and uh, it was just conking out on me. I had just worn that thing right out. So uh, something that comes with the Minn Kota because it uses the electric steering system here. Um, something that comes with the Minn Kota is an accessory, well it doesn't come with it, you gotta buy it for like $150, is uh, right here, something called the Co-Pilot. It's a Co-Pilot wireless remote system. And uh, let's open this box up and see what we get. So it looks like we got the actual unit itself with the square plugs that the unit has. It has this little uh, little key fob here. It's like uh, on, off, left, right, and faster and slower. So uh, why don't we uh, take a second. Let me uh, put you guys on the real time here. Let's see how this thing works. What I'm hoping for is we get a lot of range. I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping to not only use this as a way to control the kayak when I'm on it, but uh, how cool would it be if I could use it like a remote control boat? If I could, you know sit on a beach and, and send it across the river and send it back or to, to run an errand or something so uh i'm really interested to see what kind of range this thing has but uh let's uh see if it look at that huh left and right electric steering and uh How cool is that, huh, guys? Let's uh, let's see how far away from it we can get. Why don't I set you guys up here so you can see it? And I'll walk as far as I can. Hopefully, you're in the shot. How cool is that, huh? It's like a walk well, as far as I could get. I got to the end of the property line and it's still doing its thing. Oh man, this is going to be a fun little toy, huh boys? I can't wait to play with it tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, awesome. So, uh, I'm going to package this up for now and tomorrow we'll come in and we'll, uh, we'll rebuild the electric kayak and we'll see how this thing actually is to play with. So, uh, until tomorrow, guys, keep it out of the cabbage.